hello everyone in my previous video I promised you how to show you how the server controls other users connected on the same network but the accounts were created on the server for our case we created user accounts K and Y but in my previous video I just added only user K I did not add their user Y let's see how user K is connected by using the first feature we, we we did in our first video about multi point services. Click on your start button on your server. Then go to multi point dashboard. In this case, we shall use multi point dashboard, not multi point manager. Click on multi point dashboard. Then, when multi point dashboard opens, it will start connecting all the thin clients or all, all the users at on that machine now this is what is happening and this is our user key if at all look here if you want to block user key you just click here block user key if at all i had very many other users here they would have been blocked by selecting block all desktops but since i have only one user connected on this server i have blocked that user then if you want to unblock it you just go select or you want to unblock all the users on the system this could be maybe an a company with 2000 subscribers to use subs sorry two subs 2000 users then still you can just click on unblock all the stations or unblock the selected station then for the case of blocking the channels you just go to config then it has two options to allow these sites implying when you for example you may just use facebook the word facebook or you can put the entire url facebook.com but i can just say facebook then when i click add this implies this site is it will be always allowed on the user account side but if i don't want people to access facebook within the working hours i'll just go under this this allow all sites i'll type in facebook facebook then i'll say add then here i'll remove it implying now people whenever they try to access facebook it will be blocked by the server and these people will not be able to access facebook if at all you have any other url on your system that you feel like these people are always accessing it but it's not allowed in your organization still you can write in the url you can copy and paste it or you can note it down on a paper then you type it in then you disable it this is where they disable from you can type in for example i may say i don't want people to access maybe whatsapp web whatsapp say web whatsapp dot com then you say add that site will be added there and no one will be able to use web whatsapp on the network of those thin clients at the user end then you may say youtube if you don't want people to access youtube you say youtube then dot com then people will not be able to access youtube at any time within working hours if at all maybe after working hours you want the people to access youtube again click on you can add youtube here allow youtube.com then you say add then here you remove it from here you click here to remove it then it will be removed then to make these settings effective after you click ok don't forget to click ok you click on ok then these settings will be effective on the user side when the user tries to make anything of the urls that you have added to that option they will not be accessed if at all you want to communicate with these users still i'm using multipoint dashboard to do this if you want to communicate with the users implying like setting sending a message to the user you can click on i am i am that is the instant messaging then it's here click on i and then it says send you can say 
hello 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 secretary i will say see like that hello secretary then when you send this message when you send it it will always pop out on that message you may send another message you say how are you madam or sir when you send it it will be sent to the user account how can you preview this can double click into it then you say then you will see what you have sent to the user side still if at all you want to take control of the user side you can just click here take control take control helps you take the user account side then when I take when I click on take control at the desktop of the user they will tell him or her administrator now has control of your keyboard and mouse then I can say anything or I can use or I can open any application at his or her side to see whether these things are effective this is the user account side when I s I can now move this the desktop for the user account side this is user key I can even click on the start menu of user key and can open this is my u start menu for the administrative side this is for user key then you can close or you can open it and say hello hello ad hello admin hello admin then you send a message when you send a message this message will be sent to the administrator's side when i turn this desktop to check the message being sent to me and i check here it is here hello admin this is user key when you check here this is user key sending a message to the admin the admin sent to hello secretary admin how are you sir then user k sent an ad a message hello admin for other more applications and settings and how mount point dashboard is being used i'll make for you a full video thank you for watching this is musikisto don't forget to leave a comment below a like and subscribe tell up friends about my site my channel how it always operates thank you